Hi guys, I'm Terry Carell and welcome to the Copperwood Pork Store right here in Kingston. Here is where all the caterers, chefs and foodies like myself come for everything they need that has pork. Pork chops, loin, ribs, even custom cuts are available. We look at easy to follow recipes that teens, bachelors, moms and those who just love to cook up a storm will be excited to create after they see the many ways that pork can be prepared. So get ready to have some fun with me as we watch chefs and their guests throw down some serious pork action in this season's Pork of the Week. Now, if you think about Jamaicans, you know that there are certain things we're really serious about. Culture, music, athletics, and we? All right. So, of course, I'm in foodie heaven right now. I am sandwiched between two fabulous men, and what makes them more fabulous is the fact that they, they cook. Ladies, they cook. Carl Thomas and um, Jair Lyons. Now, I understand you are a physiotherapist. You're also a personal trainer. And I heard a little birdie told me that you prefer copperwood pork. Yeah. Why? Well, copperwood pork has nice cuts and it's lean, not fatty, and prepared easily, easily done up in a jiffy, which is why I like it. Give me an idea of what you'll be preparing for. Mm. Well, um, today I'm doing a, a chili pork stir fry, and it's going to be served with noodles. Um, this dish itself is going to have sort of like an Asian flair to it, nice. and at the same time, it's quick and easy. Coming from the work, one coming from your job one evening, and you're a bit tired, and say, okay, then I need something quick. It's a complete meal. You'll have your starch by the way of the noodles. You'll have some veggies in there, and at the same time, you'll have your protein using the cup of pork. Nice. It's not that I don't cook, guys. I am a fabulous cook, if I may say so myself. But I'm going to give the gentleman the benefit of showing you how it is prepared. And of course, Jair, you're going to be the, the assistant. Okay, so yeah. I'll leave it to the professionals. And then afterwards, I'll come back and, and taste it, right? Okay, okay. All right. thanks, Terry. Right. The cup I would cut that we're using today is actually the loin chops, right? And it's going to be basically boneless, right? right? And it's actually skinless. And one, one reason why we choose this cut of meat is because um, it's very tender, right, and it's easy to cook. And we don't want to choose a lot of uh, meat that has a lot of um, sinew in there, or a lot of silver skin. It's something that you can quickly cut up and you can actually saute them quickly. What you're going to do is actually, you're going to season it with some salt. And the reason why we're just using salt only is because we're using a chili garlic sauce in it. And the chili garlic is going to give you that garlic flavor and at the same time give you that chili flavor. So if you add pepper again, it's going to be a little bit too spicy. Right, so we move, remove the excess here because at the same time we don't want it to tough up on us in the pan. This part of the meat will require for you to cut it, cook it a little bit longer. Right, and then we're going to cut it in some strips. Some persons think that oh, you have to be a professional to prepare a dish like this. It's not necessary. All of it just comes with practice. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of salt to that. Um, like a pinch. We're going to use our tongue on that side just to kind of toss it up. Some persons would normally um, add your meat to the pan first, but at the same time, we want to get maximum flavor out of this dish, so we're gonna actually add in the chili garlic sauce first. So, a little bit of oil. Can add your chili garlic to it. So, nice and spicy. Spicy, yeah. Okay. And the tongue over there just to kind of toss it out. I want to burn the oil out of it so we can extract maximum flavor while preparing this dish. At the same time, we're going to add a little bit of ginger because we want to carry through with that Asian flavor, definitely. And then our pork. Right? And what's going to happen is that the chili garlic is just going to basically soak into this meat, go all over in there, inside, outside, to make sure that you get maximum flavor out of this dish itself. And the aroma is so wonderful. I'm going to cut some skeleton for that particular dish. We can go ahead and saute. Right. So the pork is about half the way done now, right, and right. that's why we want to have it at this stage right. because we're adding additional adding ingredients to it in the meat. Okay. Okay. So we're adding some onions firstly, and we do that first because we want to get maximum flavor out of our onions again. Yeah. Right. And we're then adding some beans to that now, right. and those are just simple string beans. Um, the actually, it, it? yeah, okay. definitely because we want to make the dish complete. In the meantime, I'm gonna mix a little bit of water with some cornstarch, right. and that will kind of help to so give us a little bit of glaze on the pork itself. 
right? Persons want to eat healthy. Yeah. At the same time, persons want to ensure that they, 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 they still get a complete meal. Yeah, yeah. Right? We're gonna add some skill and butter at the end of it. Oh, yeah. And Sorry. because yeah, we add some skill in there for flavor first. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we want to have that nice crunch and that nice bite to it at the end of the dish. We're adding our noodles now. And again, last but not least, some more fresh skill in there. Pinch of salt because we had some starch to it. Right, we have the pasta. I want to make sure that we round out that flavor. Mm -hmm. okay. We're gonna pick this up now. And it's quick and easy, that's like a few minutes. Okay. So we're adding the final touch to the dish now, and it's gonna be some toasted sesame seeds. It's also very Asian again, and the reason why we toast it is to kind of bring up that nutty flavor in the dish itself. Yeah, and last, last but not least, some shoestring carrots. What? <laughs> nice. So that's it. Um, nice it Saute pork, um, chili garlic sauce, and noodles. It's full new tech people. <laughs> and I mean, I'm Why are you Terry? <laughs> I am representing you lovely viewers out there. I want to know that this dish was not going to take you and I seven minutes. Let's talk about Jair sprinkling the little dashes of salt and <laughs> the little sesame seed. I know how to put too much sesame seed and then I'd have choked my guests. Father help me. But I mean, seriously, how fantastic was that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought as a chef, you guys mm -hmm. are supposed to look at your rations, think about how many people are going to be here to partake. No, it's your bad that everything where you it's just put enough for everybody. Fit in <laughs> on one plate. Could you pass me before, please? Sure. I couldn't help but notice though in terms of just the tenderness of the pork when you first started. Like you literally cut through the copper wood pork as if it was butter. Yep. Yeah. I mean yeah, I'm just, yeah, go on, you, you guys can go on talking, you know, I mean, I, I know I interrupted it, huh? Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh my god, guys, this is really good, like, I'm not even doing this for show. Mm. Oh my goodness, Chef, Thomas, thank you so very much. Jair, thank you, you guys did an awesome job. I'm gonna go over to the corner, have this, and I cannot wait to see what the next recipe, the next dish for the couple with pork of the week is going to be, so... Chop chop, get to work, you guys in the kitchen. I'm I'm gonna go <laughs> eat over here. <laughs> to prepare the perfect pork, Lorraine Fung is here to give us today's pork tip. Copperwood pork is a pork lover's choice. Pork is the most versatile protein you can think of. With copperwood pork, I use it because it's tender. It's easy to season, it's nice in flavor, and I've created a lot of wonderful dishes with it. If you missed an episode, don't worry, we've got your back. To catch up, visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash copperwoodpork and let us know what you thought about our episodes. We're on Instagram and Twitter too.